is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be wrapping up our aew and rival collection series 5 reviews on scu we got frankie kazarian and scorpio sky we are missing christopher daniels we do have some brand new tag team championships in here we're going to rank the rest of aew series number five which is going to be very interesting i'm pretty excited to get into this ranking see where everything falls everybody probably knows what number one's gonna be who knows you know i, I don't know we'll have to see frankie kazarian and scorpio sky could be really damn good we'll have to find that out as we crack them out of their packaging and stuff but if you guys missed our luchasaurus jungle boy moxley and hangman page reviews guys definitely go check those out but today let's go ahead and dive into seu get these guys out of here and dive into our last two reviews of series number five so that we can rank this set and find out where all of them fall so getting into the packaging guys you will see we do get both tag championships right here frankie kazarian scorpio sky they look really good in the packaging i'm, I'm actually pretty excited to see how they fall there you do get a uh, Great, a great image up of the two right there. Number 38, number 39. They need to be like this, to be honest with you. So we'll flip that just for the bothersome stuff. On the side, you get the AEW logo. Images of the talent down here. On the back, you do get a shot of both guys holding up their championships. Rest of the figures in the wave that we've already covered. Other AEW logo over there. And that is pretty much it for our AEW Unrivaled Collection packaging on the Series 5 Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky figures. But if you guys would like to grab these, they are up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles. Go over there, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10%. Huge shout out to them for making the review possible over here. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack SCU out of their packaging and see if, uh, you know, they're worth a damn. All right, guys, so here's SCU out of their packaging, and you know, it is what it is, man. There's some things that we got to go over with this set. There seems like there's a common theme with this set, and I'll get into that in just a little bit, and we'll break it all down, but Frankie Kazarian, Scorpio Sky, two talents that I actually appreciate, you know, uh, kind of doing their own thing nowadays, but Scorpio Sky is still a fantastic talent. I like Frankie Kazarian. We got some good-ish going on right here. We got some brand new tag team championships in here, which I'm really excited to dive into, and since these guys are a tag team, our second tag team in the set, which is really unique for this set you know plugging two full tag teams in i know minus christopher daniels and marco stunt but they are two tag teams that you could throw into your pick fed if you wanted to really cool of jazz wears to do that but let's go ahead and dive into their accessories first and then we will dive into each of them individually so diving into their accessories guys i mean we get the rubber accessories and then we get the beautiful tag team championships now let's get into these tag titles first of all because these are actually very well done and i'm pretty impressed with them like holy crap these are nice looking figure belts you guys can see there you guys the nice colors in there it says aew tag team and then you got world champion on there really nice i think these are really really great if you guys want to see what they look like up next to the aew championship there it is like size comparison i feel like it's pretty accurate i mean it might could i don't know i i, I like it i don't think it, if anything it could go up like eight percent in size you know it's not like massive like the tnt title i think the tnt title is a little bit too big this one looks pretty damn accurate as far as i'm concerned i think i'd rather it be a little bit too small than a little too big what do you guys think you can let me know but there are the uh you know the comparison there and then here's both of them side by side they look really good all of those things so really nice to add these to the collection now i think we have every every aew championship except for you know the ones that are cross prom promotional and then of course our updated tnt championships but there are those those look really amazing and then we have our jackets here now just like mattel i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna mess around i don't like the rubber accessories you do have the hooded accessory with scorpio sky you get some nice paint on there it says scu you got the state of california there with the white and this goes on much like the young bucks you know it's like unclipped on one side and you have to like worm it through i did pop scorpio sky's head off but you do get like a crocodile skin going on with the white and the stripes you get the scu and gold you get some nice studs going on this is the worst town i've ever been in you get all this i feel like my graphic may be a little bit out of line not a big deal though because if anything i'll hack the sleeves off and use it as a you know as an entrance vest i would not use it as you know i'm not going to put them up on the shelf like this even though the crocodile pattern and stuff is really nicely sculpted it's just not something that i really care about as far as that's concerned but we do have beautiful world tag titles that i'll always appreciate so there are the accessories for scu now getting into kazarian himself guys i think the head sculpt does look like him me and my brother always joke that he kind of favors randy orton you know he doesn't have the tattoos and stuff but it's like a it's like a version of randy orton kind of like they kind of favor in some ways in some aspects but uh, i like the hair sculpt i like the head sculpt i feel like it may be a little bit too big maybe at least that's what i'm getting what do you guys think maybe uh, i mean it, it looks all right i think it passes the 
quiz, you know, nothing too crazy, but I think the head sculpt does definitely look like him. It looks like he, they are using the Pac torso, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like this is pretty much a Pac figure. Now, I'm not entirely sure, I, but it, it kind of looks that way to me. The thighs, the torso, the shoulders, the arms, everything like that kind of looks like Pac to me. So, you guys already know if you guessed it, he does not have kick pad rotation, man. <laughs> Why do they do this to me? But going down, guys, you do have the black wrist tape. You have the nice graphic right here. I think this is a, a bunch of K's, like making a razor blade right there, or a little like ninja blade. You do have the nice shield logo there. You get Rebel on that side. On the back, it does say Kaz. You get some other graphics going on, and on the other side, it does say SCU. This is the attire that they won the Tag Team Championships in, though, so it's kind of like a defining moment here, but he does have the black knee pads on there, black kick pads as always, and he does not have the boot rotation. So the articulation is pretty much the, the Pac articulation, right? He gets a good ab crunch in there. He can look up pretty solid. and eh, not, not as good as you would think, I don't think, but he can look up pretty good. He can look down all the way. He can do all the different things. Double jointed arms. You get the stuff. You get the thigh cut. You get the uh, split seeds. Of course, ball joints and all that stuff. He doesn't feel loose in the legs like, you know, Adam Hangman Page or anything like that, but yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a Pac figure, really. Now, getting into Scorpio Sky, guys, I do like the figure. I think it looks all right. I honestly, I kind of feel like... I mean, this torso isn't bad or anything, but I feel like he could have used a different torso if they wanted to. But I think it works, you know, for a realistic, you know, Scorpio Sky style torso. You do get the black and yellow and white gear. I always love his gears. Like, uh, I especially like like the black or the red, white, and blue and black one is a really cool one. But you do have the S's on the side. Kind of reminds me of that, like, elementary school S or the skater S, if you will, if you guys know what I'm talking about there. Nice belt design going around there. And he does have the dual elbow pad. Head sculpt does look good. I think it does look like Scorpio Sky. The likeness is definitely there. There. I just kind of feel like maybe it's a, I don't know, I, I, I like it. I think it looks all right. You got the white wrist tape. You got the white boots in there. And the same thing, man, I don't know what it is about this wave, but the legs, like, his aren't as bad, I don't think. He can't really kick forward as much as I'd probably like, but it's like, maybe it's my table or something, but, like, some of these guys just don't want to stand up, and it's really upsetting me. I don't know if it's the small feet. This is, like, the MJF boot mold, and they are in white, so that's nice to see. He's got the good ankle pivot. He actually does have boot rotation, so that's always good, and... And his waist popped off. Not a big deal, though. Popping it straight back in there. That's what's good about this. But I was kind of worried about his legs looking at him in packaging. But I don't know. It's not as bad as I don't think. You know, it's it's definitely better than the Adam Hangman page by a long shot. No doubt about it. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm happy to add another wrestler in Scorpio Sky. You know, he can fit in the tag division, the singles division. This is a good pickup and a uh, very talented wrestler to have in figure form. Now, as far as your comparisons go for SCU here is SCU up next to Jurassic Express and Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. Which, funny enough are a part of the same series. If you guys missed our review on these guys, definitely go check that out. But there is your kind of comparison to a tag team there. And if you guys wanted to see another tag team, we can also see what they look like up next to the Young Bucks. If you guys would like to do this, here is the Young Bucks up next to them. And I think those scale well. No issues with that for me, at least. But you guys can let me know down below what you think of the comparisons and all that. And what is your favorite tag team thus far? You like the Young Bucks, Jurassic Express, Lucha Brothers, you got, you got LAX. I mean, we got, we got a pretty good amount of tag teams now in our AEW figure collections. But alright guys, it is finally that time of the video where we rank AEW Series number 5 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. Now, we always run through this when we do the ranking style videos, of course. Just because a figure comes in at the bottom doesn't mean it doesn't have any redeeming qualities and just because a figure is number 1 on the list doesn't mean it doesn't have any problems whatsoever and I will cover the problems that I have with the figure, the things I like, the things I don't like. I'll cover it all in the ranking spot right here. So, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into it, starting out at the bottom. Alright, this one was kind of tough. I'm not gonna lie to you, but coming into the bottom, guys, I'm gonna go with Frankie Kazarian, you know? He comes with the world tag title, which is really awesome. I think the head sculpt is nice. I just, it just reminds me so much of Pac, and I'm not the biggest Kazarian fan. I like him, everything like that. It's just not my favorite figure ever, and it's just, uh, you know, the no-kick pad rotation. Not the biggest fan of the guy. Wasn't that hype for the figure to begin with. You know, I'm gonna put him at the bottom there, but not to say it's a bad figure. I think it's a good representation of Kazarian, and I think you should add it to the collection, but at this juncture, it's just not a figure that, you know, gets me that excited. So I'm going to put him at the bottom for now. Coming in at number five, guys, this one actually pained me a lot. I have to go with Adam Hangman Page. This one is so good. Like, if this figure felt good in the hand, had tight joints, you know, all of those different things, this would go so much different, man. He is a really good figure. He's just so loose. Like, it just pains me. Like, look at this. It's just, so, it's like unusable to the point where it hurts my feelings. And for that reason, I just can't put him any higher than five. I still like it better than the Kazarian, but... Dude, it just pains me so bad. I love the accessories, the tight.
lights are sick. It's just, it's an upgrade from the Series 2. It just hurts my being that uh, it's so damn loose, and I'm gonna have to fix them up a lot there, but such a good figure. Unfortunately, just too loose. Coming in at number four, guys, I'm gonna be going with John Moxley. Now, this is actually surprising because his, his Series 2 figure, I think, was number one for me in the Series 2 ranking, but the head sculpt is not the best of all time. It's not the biggest change. They didn't fix the height. It just, I don't know. It's, it's like a worse version of Series number two, I guess. Even though I do like the gear, I like John Moxley a lot. I still like it better than Kazarian and Adam Hangman Page, but for whatever reason, he is going to come in the four. I think the other three in the set are better. Coming in at number three, guys, I'm going to go with Scorpio Sky. I think the Scorpio Sky is pretty impressive. You know, it's a lot better than I thought. Again, I thought the legs were going to be pretty damn terrible getting them out of the packaging, but it actually ended up not being that bad. So it actually surprised me. I like Scorpio Sky. I'm glad to have a figure of him. So he comes in at the number three spot. And coming in at two and one, I mean, did you expect any different guys we have luchasaurus and jungle boy and the winner of series number five is going to be luchasaurus i mean didn't you see it coming i mean what did you want brad what did you want i like one thing that literally almost knocked it down though is not having kick pad rotation whatever we got to do to get kick pad rotation on all of our figures we got to make that happen man i think i speak for all aew figure collectors and posers and stop motion and photographers we got to have that kick pad rotation there's got to be something right there we can't have it where it's just the thigh we got to have it where it rotates in the boot there. So there are all of those things. But Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy are two top-notch figures. They had to come in at two and one for me. I'd put Jungle Boy at number two. Luchasaurus at the number one spot. And that is pretty damn good to me, Bradley. That is good stuff right there. Luchasaurus is excellent. So if you want to redo the ranking here, you have Luchasaurus one, Jungle Boy at the number two spot. We got Scorpio Sky at the number three spot. We have Moxley at number four. We have Hangman at number five. Barely. Like, God, his legs bothered the hell out of me. And coming at the end, we do have Kazarian. Now, down below, guys, I would love to know what you think of the ranking. What would you rank these if you had a chance? You know, which ones, whatever. If you would like to pre-order this set or pick up this set at all, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, ringsidecollectibles.com, wrestlingfigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when you're shopping over there so that you can save yourself some money and all of those things. But I appreciate you guys checking out the review. Overall thoughts on the set is good. You know, I don't know if it's the best set ever. I felt like it was kind of disappointing with the leg rotation for Lucha. Uh, a couple wobbly legs here and there. I think it's a really good set, but uh, I, I definitely, maybe I just put it too much like in hype mode. Like I was, you know, maybe I overrated it a little bit before I got in hand and kind of set myself up for disappointment. But at the end of the day, I still enjoy the set overall and I would love to know what you guys think. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Before we get out of here, let's get into the shout out. And our shout out is going to go to MJF himself, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Page figure isn't loose. He's just too drunk to stand up. And that got the top comment, which is hilarious because that's true, man. I mean, his legs legs are super wobbly dobbly. They absolutely nailed the realism of that. So a huge shout out to them and a huge shout out to MJF for the comment. Now, I don't think it's the real MJF, but if it were, that would be fantastic. But huge shout out to MJF for the comment. I'm getting out of here, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think Luchasaurus and Adam Hangman Page crossed the line in, in this series, man. They just did. They totally did. Uh, we need the kick rotation. And we don't need wobbly dobbly legs. So, Luchasaurus and Adam Hangman Page. You cross the line.